Hello, everyone. This is Mick Pearson with your tech tip of the month. This month, I'm indoors and I'm trip planning for winter ski tours. I wanted to show you a function of Google Earth and how Google Earth can be used to uh, help you identify what the terrain looks like in the environment. So I'll share my screen here is Source Lake at Snoqualmie Pass, which is very close to where I like to tour. And if I was unfamiliar with the terrain, I might use Google Earth to pinpoint where, uh, what the vegetation looks like, where maybe some avalanche slopes are. But also I can actually look at photos that people have placed. So if you look down here on the left in the layers function, you have photos. And if you click photos, you actually will have photos that pop up of the particular area. So here, if I clicked on photos, I could see what it looks like based on a photo. So that I think is incredibly use useful. Another cool thing that you can do is you can actually go into street view and by dragging this icon in the upper right-hand corner, you start to drag it into the map, you'll see those blue dots. Those blue dots, if you actually put the person on the blue dot, it will populate with a photo that someone has taken. So you can actually use a photo to get a better sense of what the terrain looks like. So you can do this both in the summer and the winter. Uh, I personally would probably use it most in the summer, or I'm sorry, in the winter months. But here's like another angle of same thing. So you can play with this in Google Earth and get a better sense of like, well, what is this terrain look like? Where are these avalanche paths? What does the vegetation look like? So I wanted to show you that with Google Earth. So thank you so much for joining us this month for the tech tip of the month. We'll see you next month. Cheers.